How would you feel if I told you that you have not yet properly utilized your NVIDIA GPU for gaming? The incorrect settings you have made are causing FPS drops and lag in your favorite games. Today, I will tell you the best settings related to NVIDIA GPU, with the help of which you can eliminate lag in your games and get more FPS and smoother gaming experience. So stick around, and before we get started, drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Let's jump right in. Frustrated with lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need a gear booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. In the first step, we will do some registry tweaks to optimize our GPU for gaming. Head over to the search bar and type registry editor, then run it as administrator. Once registry editor opened, copy the first path from description and paste it here, then click enter find HWSCH mode. If it's not there, right click, create a DW Word 32 bit value and name it HWSCH mode. Double click on it and set its value to two. This enables hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Click OK. If you ever need to disable this, just change the value to one. This tweak reduces latency and helps your GPU handle tasks more efficiently, leading to smoother gameplay. Next registry tweak about increased GPU priority for games. Copy the next path from description and paste it here, then hit enter. Find GPU priority. If it's missing, right click, create a DW word 32 bit value and name it GPU priority. Double click it and set its value to eight. This tweak tells Windows to prioritize your GPU when running games, giving you better responsiveness and more consistent performance. With these two simple registry tweaks, you can boost your GPU performance, reduce input lag, and get smoother FPS in your favorite games. Now let's take GPU optimization to the next level with the best tools available. To do this, you'll need to download this GPU optimization pack, which you can grab instantly from my official website with just one click. Feel free to scan the files with any antivirus program or an online virus scanner. This pack is 100% safe and completely free from malware. Once you've downloaded and extracted the folder, the first step in enhancing your GPU's efficiency and minimizing input lag is using the MSI mode utility. This tool improves communication between your CPU and GPU, allowing smoother data transfer and reducing frame drops, leading to a more responsive gameplay experience. To begin, run the MSI mode utility as an administrator. Find your graphics card in the device list and check whether MSI mode is enabled. If it's disabled, turning it on will help your GPU process data more efficiently, reducing bottlenecks that cause stuttering and inconsistent frame times. You'll also notice an option to adjust interrupt priority, but for most users, the default normal setting is ideal. This maintains system stability while still benefiting from MSI mode. Once you've made the necessary changes, hit apply to save the settings. Now let's move on to MSI Afterburner, a must have tool for GPU tuning. When you open it, you'll find various sliders to adjust key GPU settings like core clock, memory clock, power limit, temperature limit, and fan speed. These settings help fine tune your GPU for maximum performance without compromising stability. If you're looking for a safe and effective way to boost your GPU's performance, here are some recommended tweaks that work well on most graphics cards. Core clock, increase in small increments of plus 10 to plus 20 MHz. This provides a performance boost while keeping the system stable. Memory clock, raise it by plus 25 to plus 50 pounds MHz to slightly improve VRAM speed, which helps in rendering high resolution textures. Power limit, keep it at 100% default. Raising it beyond this might increase performance slightly, but for most users, leaving it as is is the safest option. Temperature limit, set it to 83 degrees to ensure your GPU remains in a safe temperature range without unnecessary throttling. Fan speed. Keep it on auto so your GPU can dynamically adjust cooling based on its workload. If temperatures get too high, you can manually increase it, though this may generate more noise. Core voltage. Do not modify this setting. Raising the voltage can cause higher temperatures and shorten your GPU's lifespan, making it an unnecessary risk. 
By applying these optimizations, you'll be able to boost your GPU's performance safely without causing instability or overheating. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now we will optimize NVIDIA control panel settings to ensure better gaming experience. To begin, right-click on your desktop and open the NVIDIA control panel. Head over to the 3D settings section and navigate to adjust image settings with preview. Choose use the advanced 3D image settings, click apply, and then select take me there. The first option to modify is image. Image scaling. Turn this off, it's unnecessary, and even if you think it helps, it likely doesn't. If you want better FPS, lowering your resolution instead of upscaling will yield superior results. Since we're optimizing for performance rather than visuals, this should remain disabled. Next is ambient occlusion. By default, this is off, and you should leave it that way. Enabling it reduces shadow quality and consumes extra resources, so keeping it disabled is the best choice. Now let's go over anisotropic filtering. This setting sharpens textures and should be set to 16x globally. It enhances clarity without impacting performance, ensuring textures remain crisp across all games. Moving forward, we have FXAA, Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing. Disable this since it causes unnecessary blurriness. Instead, rely on the anti-aliasing options available in your game settings for better image quality. When it comes to anti-aliasing gamma correction, turn it off as well. Most modern games already integrate gamma correction and letting the game engine handle it results in superior visuals. For anti-aliasing mode, set it to application controlled. This lets the game determine the best anti-aliasing method instead of forcing a global setting. Now let's adjust anti-aliasing transparency. This doesn't provide a noticeable improvement and only burdens the GPU, so turning it off is the best approach. Moving away from anti-aliasing, let's check background application max frame rate. Enable this and cap it at 30 FPS to limit background frame rates. This helps reduce resource usage when you're alt-tabbed, improving overall system stability. For CUDA GPUs, if you have a single GPU, leave this set to all. If you're using multiple GPUs, ensure your primary one is selected to prevent performance drops. Set QDA system fallback policy to driver default and disable DSR factor. Now let's talk about low latency mode. Many believe Ultra is the best choice, but extensive testing suggests otherwise. Instead of turning it off completely, set it to on. While individual results may vary, using Ultra can sometimes increase input lag instead of reducing it. The best balance is achieved with it set to on. For max frame rate, keep this disabled. If you need to cap your FPS, always do it within your game settings for better control. Disable multi-frame sampled AA, as it's not necessary for most users. Regarding OpenGL GDI compatibility, leave this on auto. For OpenGL rendering GPU, manually select your GPU rather than leaving it on auto select. While this setting won't drastically change performance, ensuring your dedicated GPU is used prevents potential compatibility issues. Set power management mode to prefer maximum performance to allow your GPU to run at its full potential at all times. Another key setting is preferred refresh rate. If this option is available, set it to Highest Available. This prevents games from lowering your refresh rate 
ensuring smoother gameplay. Now, let's tweak shader cache size. Avoid using driver default. Instead, set it between 1 GB and 5 GB to reduce stuttering by efficiently managing shader data. Moving on to texture filtering settings, the most important one here is texture filtering quality. If you prioritize graphics quality, select quality. If you want better FPS, especially for competitive gaming, choose performance. Avoid high quality or high performance as they can cause unwanted side effects. For threaded optimization, leave it on auto. This ensures games decide whether to enable it, preventing potential conflicts. Now let's talk about triple buffering. Since it mainly applies to OpenGL games, which are rare, you can safely turn it off. Set Vertical Sync VSync to use the 3D application setting. If screen tearing occurs, it's better to enable VSync within your game's settings rather than through the NVIDIA control panel. Virtual Reality Pre-Rendered Frames is only relevant for VR gaming. If you don't play VR games, you can ignore this. Otherwise, setting it to 1 is recommended for most VR applications. Finally, Vulkan Present method should be set to Auto. With Vulkan becoming more common in modern titles, leaving this setting on Auto ensures compatibility without issues. Next, in Configure Surround, PhysX, ensure PhysX processor is set to your NVIDIA GPU for optimal physics calculations. PhysX is NVIDIA's physics engine that enhances in-game physics, effects like explosions, debris, and cloth simulation. By default, Windows may assign PhysX calculations to your CPU, which can negatively impact gaming performance. To ensure optimal performance, you should set PhysX to run on your dedicated NVIDIA GPU instead of the CPU. Once you've configured everything, click Apply at the bottom. Your screen may flicker momentarily as the settings take effect, but after that, you're good to go. So guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. See you in the next one. Peace out.